In this quick tip we will guide you to the steps of setting up your recorder builder. Start by opening the data grabber. You can do this by clicking on the black icon with the letters D and G. After you've opened this console, open the recorder builder by clicking on the purple icon with the letters R and B. With the recorder builder you will be able to choose your devices and define their tasks. Now that we have the recorder builder open, the next step is to make a connection by clicking on the connect icon. If you are connecting to a data grabber located on the same PC you are working on, the host will be localhost and you simply can click OK. When the connection has been made, you will be able to see all the devices that have been found under the tab Devices positioned on the left. The same for the grabbers and the components that are available for you. Imagine the grabbers and components as Lego bricks, which you can stack and connect to build your recording to fit the needs of your project. For this example recording, we will select three webcams. Just click and drag your camera to the right, your building area. To tag the images with their GPS location, we will add a GPS grabber. Don't forget to select the correct COM port and baud rate of the GPS grabber. We want to be able to see the recorded footage, so we will add network ports to our building area and connect them with our select devices. Connecting elements is simply done by clicking and dragging. Just click on your camera and drag. Notice that an arrow appears and release once you have placed your mouse on top of the component you want to connect to. Be sure to connect them in the right order. As you can see, a network port cannot be connected from the network port to the device. It should be connected the other way around. In this case, I would like to see the status information about my images made by my selected device. So I will connect my camera with a console rider. And of course, I want to save my recorded images to a hard disk. In order to do this, you need to create a recording location. Click and drag a recording location component towards your building area. Within our recording location, we place a file writer and we connect our webcam to this file writer. For this example, we specify our C drive as recording location. After this is done, we will click on the setup icon and create a setup. You can see that the names of the included grabbers are filled in correctly, so continue by clicking on generate and name it. A HFS file contains camera configuration so that both the Horus Movie Recorder and player display a correct image. Remember where you are saving this setup, so you will be able to find it. At this point it is a good idea to save your pipeline before continuing. Simply click on save and name it. Once it is saved you can edit and change your recorder pipeline later if needed. Now we are ready to send our pipeline to the recorder. Sending is done by clicking on the send pipeline icon. An advanced option is to use a previously generated setup file to automatically start a recording. By looking at the console writer, we see our pipeline is initialized. We can see images are generated. Looking at the information in our console writer is simply a double check to verify if your camera is recording. This can also be done by opening the Horus Movie Recorder and check the live view of your camera.